Before John shows us how to create his creepy cobweb cake, mm. you've had some creepy cakes in from our viewers. We have actually. People are getting into People this are getting idea. Really into it. The first one is from Fiona, and this is a Frankenstein cake, which I think is so Brilliant. gorgeous. It's like a, a flat square cake, and the, the yellow ice in it's wicked. What's the red? What's the red mouth? Oh, I don't, oh it's used? one of those candy laces, I think. Oh, a clever, raspberry lace or clever. an apple lace. The next is by Joan, and she's done uh, this this cake for a local charity oh, fund day. She ra goodness. raised thirty quid for a wow. charity, which is great. Good and it's spiders. a little bit like my cobweb cake. So she might have nicked the idea from me. Or did I nick the idea from Joan? Oh, this is a good question. Wow. <laughs> the next one is by Laura. Laura and Tia made this together, which is a pumpkin cake. So that's one for you and your pumpkin oh, top. Oh, yes, in my pumpkin that's top. Nice. You, I think that that's really yummy, cute. Actually, that it does one. look good, actually. And the final one is by Tracy. And she's done these great Halloween cupcakes. So fantastic. Really great festive Halloween. I never even have thought of the cookie. idea of a Halloween cake before. I'm going to do oh, it now. Oh, well, just wait till you see this OK, because you've got a brilliant it. one for us, I haven't have. you? It's my cobweb cake. Well, creepy cobweb cake is the idea. And basically, it's a really dark gorgeous rich chocolate cake it's really yes. sweet as well so great for kids because it's half term so yeah. great for kids to make and the messier it is the better it is the more i we think love it. Okay. now it starts as any cake does as i always say with butter and sugar so mm. i've creamed the butter and caster sugar in this bowl here until sort of pale and fluffy and then i'm going to add it's not like a usual victoria sponge cake where there's just a okay. few ingredients there's quite quite a few more bits to this sure. and there are quite a few stages to this cake but if you listen carefully you'll get it it's easy to do it just takes time okay so in with some milk and then three eggs so i'm going to pop those in and whisk those in mm. and you don't need to worry about folding things in with this cake that's not the point it's just about getting the ingredients mixed together and into the oven okay and lovely. the secret ingredient is stout Irish stout, stout, stout in, a cake? in a cake for half term. But if you, if, I mean, the alcohol <laughs> boils off, so don't worry about, you know, by this drunken stage, little, half term, we'll all be on stout. Exactly, <laughs> exactly, little drunken ragamuffins. But what you can do instead of stout, you can use Coca Cola. That would work just fine. Okay. So if or you any really kind of cola, it, I guess. Or yeah. any, yeah, mm, or any cola, yeah, yeah exactly. So okay. in with some flour. Lovely. Of course, it's a chocolate cake, so I'm going to put some cocoa powder in there. Right. And then a bit of bicarb, because whenever you use chocolate powder, you should always use a bit of bicarb just to counterbalance that sort of acidic. Really? Uh, yeah, always, always, it's always. It's chocolate that's acidic, is it? Um, yeah, very slightly, okay. very slightly. So I'm going to bring this together. And then I've also used a second kind of sugar for the depth and that Halloween darkness, mm. and that's dark muscovado. But because that's a really wet, clumpy sugar, it's very difficult to break down in the butter. So what I've right. done is I've dissolved that in the stout. So dissolve it in the stout. And would you do that by heating it or just literally no, press no, it in there? It'll, it'll dissolve. You put it in about 10, 15 minutes before you start okay. making the cake, and it should yeah. dissolve away. Lovely. So I'm going to just get those off my batter, on my beaters, yeah. and then pour this into there. Mm. And then what I'll do is I'll just fold that in, mix that in with this, and then I can put it in the tins. And that Lovely. bakes in the oven, um, and then we can assemble it. Now, the, the filling, the actual chocolate filling, I make a ganache for. People often get really afraid of ganache, mm. but actually it's so easy. It's just chocolate and cream, and you heat them very, very gently over a pan of barely simmering water. If it's too hot, it'll split the chocolate, so very, very gently, barely simmering, and let them melt together and come together. Yummy. That's all the ganache is. Okay. So, this will go into these three tins, but I'll do that in a little bit. Mm. And then they go into the oven. So what I'm going to reference now is the decoration, which is the, the, the main part of this is a decoration. So mm. in this pan, I've got some mini marshmallows. So you can see them there. I'm going to just swap them over so you can see. Now, the thing is, if you don't want to go through whole, this whole rigmarole of making the cake, you could just use a shop-bought cake. A so shop what would you suggest, cake. like a rich chocolate cake, yeah, any rich kind of chocolate sponge. cake, exactly. And if you want to just do that, and then you can decorate it with the marshmallows. So okay. mini marshmallows, like the cream and chocolate, over barely simmering water. Because again, if it gets too hot, game over. Halloween's ruined. So <laughs> no. ruined for not. everyone, even it's me. It's really weird having a vampire <laughs> show you to cook. I know. I'm still getting quite scared of myself. I'm not going to sleep tonight. I I'm not going to sleep tonight. I'm, I'm just. I'm, I'm so afraid of myself. So. What I've done is when the cakes come out of the oven, what I've done is I've taken that ganache and with this, which is a crank handled palette knife, yeah. this is the baker's best friend, take this and I've put that over the cake. So I've layered one cake, some ganache. So that's just chocolate, the, the, the mixture that you put there, yeah. you just put on there exactly. and allowed it to sort of harden a bit. Exactly. So you bake three cakes, mm -hmm. you put a cake, ganache, cake, ganache, ah. cake, put it in the fridge or freezer for 10 minutes wow. and then do the whole thing. And it doesn't matter if you can't get it really, really neat. That's, mm. not, the, that's not the objective. It's about making it look spooky and, and eerie. Okay. So with the marshmallows, once they've melted down, 
what you can do is you can just pull these and it be careful get an adult to help with this because you don't want to burn your fingers but as no. they cool slightly it thickens and you can just wrap it like cobwebs all the and way and so do you need around. to have it do it precisely or is it just no exactly that's that's actually not the even point. when the bits peeled off looks quite good it well, looks that's like what a little you want. bit of yeah you want it to sort of hang off the cake stand yeah. and like i say the thing is if you don't want to go through the whole thing of making this chocolate cake use either the chocolate cake that you're used to making at home right you, know, you could use that or go to the shop and just buy a shop-bought chocolate cake because sure. it really is about just making it look eerie and quite spooky and this is so easy to do fantastic and carlos david sebastian and us join me now 10 years I mean, long incredible. time absolutely long time yeah